Melissa Lanceman takes aim at liberal politicians, accusing them of lining their pockets under the guise of climate change initiatives. How rich do liberals have to get before they solve climate change? Yeah. Tens yeah. of millions of dollars being directed back into their pockets. The Auditor General made clear that it is that minister who's responsible for the scandal. While millions eat in food banks, young people can't buy a home, families can't take a summer vacation, that minister is giving millions of dollars to his friends under the guise of his climate change ideology. Is he actually joking? When will anyone over there face a single consequence for anything? Parliament! Parliament decided 20 years ago to have an arms that or organization to manage that, Mr. Speaker. We investigated the allegation. We're proposing now a new governance model, which will be under the rules of the federal public service, so we can have more rules around HR, more rules around funding, Mr. Speaker. We're going to restore confidence. We're going we're to make sure that we have a model of delivery that have the highest standard. Lanceman's statement is a fierce indictment of elite hypocrisy, where politicians preach public welfare but reap personal gains. Her criticism strikes a chord with those who question the integrity and honesty of public officials. The accusation that liberals divert funds for personal gain, while ostensibly addressing climate change, stokes public distrust and fuels skepticism about the true intentions behind progressive policies. Melissa Lanceman's pointed remarks highlight the tangible impact of these policies on everyday people. Families struggling to make ends meet. Individuals dependent on food banks aspiring homeowners facing insurmountable odds, and those missing out on simple pleasures like vacations. Her passionate call underscores the importance of economic responsibility and insists that the government should focus on pragmatic solutions to uplift the lives of its citizens rather than chasing ideological agendas.